Okay, friend. Now I will solve some example about conservation of linear momentum. Practice 5D. Let's read it. A 60 kilo, uh, 3 kilogram astronaut. Let's write his mass. And one is 63. And one 63 kilogram. He is on a spacewalk when the, he tattered the line of the shuttle box. The astronaut is able to throw a spare 10 kilogram oxygen tank. So M2 is given M2. Mass of oxygen tank 10 kilogram uh, in the direction away from him. So at the beginning, both stationary. So I will say that V1 initial is zero and V2 initial is also zero. Then uh, he drove the oxygen tank in the direction away from the shuttle, it says, with 12 meters per second. So V2 final is given here. Since it is away from the shuttle, I will say 12 minus 12 meter per second, or you can take directly 12. Assume that the astronaut start from rest with respect to the shuttle, find the astronaut final speed with respect to with respect to the shuttle. Let's uh, shortly draw the picture here. Assume. There is a shuttle here, and uh, the astronaut wants to move there. This is an, this is the astronaut. Assume that this is the astronaut, and he wants to move through the shuttle. So he throws an oxygen box to the opposite direction, oxygen tank to the opposite direction. If you write the conservation of momentum for this, we say the initial momentum is equal to find the momentum. The initial, there is just the astronaut and the tank both space is stationary. Let's write an equation for them. M1, V1 initial, plus M2, V2 initial. I wrote their initial momentums. It is equal to M2 multiply, uh, sorry, M1 multiply V1 final, plus M2 multiply V2 final. So. This part initial momentum and this part final momentum all balls. Let's continue solution. Uh, M1 is given 63 multiply 0 plus 10 multiply 0 is equal to 63 multiply V1 final. This is a uh, mass of astronaut after uh, he throw the tank wanted. 10 multiply minus 12. And this part is 0 is equal to 63 multiplied by 1 final plus minus 120. If we send 120 other side, 120 will equal 63 by 1 final. And if we divide each side by 63, we will get that v final of first ball, sorry, v final of astronaut will be 1.9 meter per second 1.9 meter per second since it is positive it will be through the shuttle and v1 final will be 1.9 meter per second thank you that's solution of course okay second question of practice 5d F 85 kilogram fisherman mass of fisherman given i will say m1 is equal to 85 kilogram jump from a duck into to a 135 kilogram robot he jumped to boat mass of boat given m2 is equal to 135 kilogram and then uh, his initial velocity given now he will jump to boat and then they will move together so the initial velocity of the fisherman is given we want initial since it says west way, west, so I will say minus 4.3 meter per second, and it will say what will be final velocity of the fisherman and boat since they move together. It ask them together. Let's write momentum or let's picture it. Here, uh, the man here seaside and assume there is a boat here and see he jumped the boat. Here the fisherman and he jumped the boat with a velocity of 4.3 V1 initial is equal to minus 4.3 meter per second. He jumped the boat and then 
Uh, they will move together, so I will write p initial is equal to p final again. Uh, momentum is conserved. For the initial, I will write m1 multiply v1 initial plus m2 multiply v2 initial is equal to. When he jump, they will move together. The fisherman and boat will move together, so I want to write mass together m1 plus m2 v final. That's v final wanted. Uh, let's write the equations. First mass is given, 85 multiply. The velocity is minus 4.3 plus M2 is 135. The velocity of the boat, V2 initial, we forget here, V2 initial is 0 because it is at rest. Multiply 0 is equal to, again, 85 plus 125 multiply V final. V final is wanted. This part will be minus 365.5 plus 0 is equal to 220 multiply V final. And if we want V final, we have to divide each side by 20, 220. 220, they will cancel. Then V final will be minus. It is minus 365.5 divided by 220. Then we find it will be uh, 1.66 here, minus 1.66 meter per second. You can leave it like this, it is correct, but minus has many meanings, so it is better to give exact direction. It is 1.66 meter per second to the west is the best. Thank you. Okay, again from 5D we continue. Now we have problem 3. Uh, each cricket ball in a set has mass of 0 0.5. All ball has same mass 0 0.5 and there is a green ball traveling with 12 meter per second strikes blue ball which is at rest Assuming that the balls uh, slide on a frictionless surface and all collision are head-on. Head-on means from center directly they hit, not without any, any with an angle. So the uh, mass of blue ball we will write. Mass of blue ball is given 0 0.5 kilogram. And there is another ball, mass of green ball, it is also 0 0.5 kilogram. And then what is given? Uh, Velocity of green ball given, but its initial velocity given, it is 12 meter per second. And then uh, velocity of blue ball given, blue ball is at rest, initial velocity is zero. Now in question, it says A, it says uh, the green ball stops moving after it strikes the blue ball. So find blue ball, it says what is the final of blue ball or the final what is what is the blue ball final velocity if uh, green ball, if final green is zero if the green final is zero because it says after the green ball stops and B uh, again, what is the final velocity of B if the green ball final velocity is uh, 2.4 meter per second? So let's write uh, conservation of momentum for both case A and B. Uh, for A, we say initial momentum is equal to final momentum. And Mass of mass of blue ball mass of blue ball multiply velocity of blue ball initial plus mass of green multiply velocity of green initial is equal to mass of blue the blue final plus mass of green multiply the green final. We wrote them and this part is zero five. 
multiply velocity at the beginning is zero plus zero five multiply its velocity is twelve is equal to after collision zero five we blue final wanted so we blue final wanted plus this part is since it stops mass zero five velocity is zero then here uh, when we calculate it we will see that the blue final is 12 meter per second. So it is coming at 20 meter, 12 meter per second, hit the second. If the first stop, the second will continue with the same velocity. So answer is correct. B, let's write the equation again. Uh, mass of blue multiply V blue initial plus mass of green multiply velocity of green initial is equal to mass of blue multiply V blue final plus mass of green V green final. Let's write them here. Blue ball is 0 0.5 multiply 0 plus 0 0.5 multiply v given 12 is equal to mass of ball 0 0.5 multiply v blue final wanted plus 0 0.5 multiply 2.4 here multiply 2.4 So here there is an easy way, since 0, 0.5 multiplication we have all, if you take 0, 0.5 bracket, this part will be 12, and take here 0, 0.5 bracket, it is 12, it is equal to 0, 0.5 bracket, VB final, plus 2.4, so 2, 0, 0.5 will cancel, then 12 is equal to blue ball final velocity plus 2.4. Then 2.4 we shall send other side. Here the blue final will be 12 minus 2.4. Then the blue ball final velocity will be 9.6 9.6 meter per second. The last solution about conservation of linear momentum practice five uh, a boy on a two kilogram skate mass of skate is given mass of skate is equal to two kilogram and he throw a jug so mass of jug is equal to eight kilogram and then mass of boy of course he hold it it is not given it is wanted in the question it is wanted in the question. Uh, their initial velocities. Since skate and boy to move together, we can take uh, together. Uh, the initial for the skate is zero. The initial initial velocity of jack is zero, and initial velocity of the boy is zero. All zero. And then it says that uh, he throw the jug. Uh, final velocities are given. He throw the jug to the right with six meter per uh, three meter per second. So jug is two. V jug final is given six meter per second. And when he throw, then V velocity of boy and uh, of course skate together it is minus zero point sorry this is three this is three given three meter per second speed of jack and speed of boy and man, uh, skate together it's zero point three kilogram so mass of boy wanted uh, let's write our equation momentum initial is equal to momentum final what can we write for the initial the boy on a skate of course holding the jack so I can write them as mass of boy plus mass of skate plus mass of jack all together multiply the initial of them 
is equal to you can write separately no problem and then after collision boy and uh, skate will move together so again I will write mass of skate plus mass of boy and their velocity is v boy final wanted plus jug mass of jug and velocity 2 of jug yani, sorry uh, v jug final velocity let's say this part since velocity 0 here 2 plus 8 plus mass of boy multiplied by 0 will be 0 we don't need it so here uh, 2 plus mass of boy multiply their velocity it is minus v minus 0 6 meter per second plus mass of jug 8 and velocity is 3 meter per second this side is 0 it is equal to 2 multiply 0 6 uh, it's probably if you multiply those minus 1.2 and if you multiply them it will be minus 0 0.6 mass of boy plus 24 so if we take 24 other side or let's take mass of boy other side 0 0.6 multiply mass of boy is equal to 24 minus 1.2 so 0 0.6 mass of boy will equal to 22 point minus twenty two point eight if you divide each side by zero six zero six then mass of boy we will get as twenty eight kilogram that's the solution